Welcome to 11 Alive News at 11, where you get nonstop news and weather in the first 11 minutes. I'm Wes Sargent. And I'm Brenda Wood. And speaking of Fright Night, how many Halloweens would be complete without a good old-fashioned ghost story? Well, for a group of ghost hunters here in Metro Atlanta, old abandoned houses and cold, dark cemeteries are homes to many unexplainable things. 11 Live's Joel Thomas tagged along for a ghost hunt in Lawrenceville last night. The tools of a modern ghost hunter, a device to measure magnetic forces, a camera that can see in the dark. I just saw something move in front of the lens again. A digital camera that can pick up unseen energy. Of course, you need a haunted place. They'll hear footsteps walking around on, on the lower level come down here. There's nobody here. Patrick Burns is equipped for finding ghosts in Metro Atlanta. It's a hobby for me, so it, it's it's largely dependent on on uh, how my schedule is. Did your hobby ever scare you? Absolutely, all the time. I call myself the shaky hand ghost hunter. There are ghost stories everywhere. Yeah, this is the old jail here. People say an inmate haunts this place. You, you can kind of see it. It looks like it's being used as a, a storage room. But there are a few places where a ghost hunt really pays off. There's something very, very active in this area here, I think. A rundown cemetery near Lawrenceville. We find pockets of freezing air. What was the temperature out there, 50? 32 degrees on the, on the ground. A possible sign of ghosts. 16 degrees. Is a sudden temperature drop. No, it's 37 degrees now. 33, back down to 33. Our digital cameras capture strange balls of light. Some believe this is spirit energy. There was nothing reflecting light, and the cemetery is absolutely dark. But there's more. Listen. Is this a voice from the other side? Well, I just caught something moving. It's as if something wants us to know they are here. What are you saying? Hmm. Joel's search uncovered more than he'd ex expected. We finish up our Georgia ghost hunt tomorrow night at 11 with some strange sights and sounds. A ghost and goblins may be some holiday favorites for those celebrating Halloween, but what about the people who seek them out year-round? Believe it or not, some people go looking for ghosts, and our Joel Thomas went with them. He joins us now with more on what he found. I understand you found a little bit more than the normal Halloween chills on your trip. Yeah, you could say that. You know, we have these decorations out like this to remind us of scary things, but the decorations are actually kind of cute. Well, there wasn't much cute about where we went earlier in the week. It's an old cemetery near Lawrenceville. It dates back to the 1800s. It's not very well kept. In fact, you might say that the dead aren't reserving, getting rather the respect that they deserve. In fact, people say it's haunted. So we went there in the middle of the night with a ghost hunter. So, I guess without further ado, if you want to walk around here. This cemetery has all the ghostly signs ghost hunters seek out. We got 32 degrees here. Ghost hunter Patrick Burns can measure temperatures plummeting in some areas. It is colder here. Cameras show strange glowing balls in those places, and when they are around, oh, we have my... problems with our cameras. We've definitely got some activity here, and my battery just died again. died again. You're looking through a low light camera. Look at these flying through the picture. Could they be ghosts? Some of them are visible to the naked eye. They zip by like supersonic fireflies, but there are no bugs in the air. Tombstones now, are while broken. Burns tells us the sad story of the cemetery, it seems someone else wants to chime in. Listen carefully. Um, there are only men in the cemetery. Our TV cameras haven't picked up audio quite like this before. And as she speaks... Your batteries are dying now? Battery after battery... Whoa. ...suddenly dies. And every time that we've been out there, we've gotten some good results. Good if you like being around weird stuff like that. People have asked me, did we hear the voices while we were out there? No. And then they ask, well, could it have been something that was old on the tape or maybe something we picked up on radio waves? Well, if it did happen, it's never happened to us like that before. So, are there ghosts out there? Well, you heard the same things that we heard and saw the same things we saw. 
you'll have to decide. Reporting live, Joel Thomas, 11 Live News tonight. All right, something to sleep on, or perhaps <laughs> or not sleep not on. Sleep on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Joel. You bet. They were just saying trick or treat. Yeah, that's all it <laughs> Is was. Is that what it was? Yeah. yeah. Well, that was like a ghoulish kind of story for yeah. a night like tonight. Joel should have given that voice and candy, yeah. and it would have been just fine. <laughs>